for our week three is environmental issues that affect communities. Let us answer first this activity to recap our lesson last week. We're going to identify which situation below belong to a healthy or unhealthy community. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper on your notebook. This is our sit work. Let's start with number one, clean drainages. Is it healthy community or unhealthy community? If your answer is healthy community, your answer is correct. In drainages belongs to a healthy community. Number two, presence of Barangay Health Center. Healthy community or unhealthy community? Then second, if your answer is healthy community, you got it right again. It belongs to healthy community. Number three, gangs. Is it healthy community or belongs to unhealthy community? Ten seconds. If your answer is unhealthy community, it's correct. Gangs belongs to unhealthy community. Next, trash bins. 10 seconds. If your answer is healthy community, your answer is correct. Trash beans belongs to healthy community. Number five, bullying. Ten seconds. If your answer is unhealthy community, it's right. Bullying belongs to unhealthy community. Next word. Lots of people getting sick. Is it healthy community or unhealthy community? 10 seconds. If your answer is unhealthy community, you're right again. And last but not the least, accessible community services. If your answer is unhealthy community, that is not the correct answer. The correct answer for our last words is healthy community. Thank you for your participation. Now let's move on to our next activity. Let us read a poem from Kim Villanueva titled Consciousness. Please follow me as I read the poem. The sky is not as blue as before. A lot of waves are washed ashore. Lands are shaking while thunders roar. Peace and harmony exist no more. 
You think toxic chemicals won't do the trick? Smokes in the air are getting thick. Many people have been sick. Our environment is deteriorating quick. Pollution everywhere should be cleared. Earth could still be restored and healed. And it's not too late to change our ways. You and I could make this a better place. Now, if you read the poem with feelings and understand, let us answer the following question. Write your answer on your notebook. Number one. How does the poem make you feel? Number two, what is the message of the poem to the readers? Now, let's proceed to our next activity. Nowadays, we face a lot of environmental issues that affect our health. Any negative alteration in the environment may be considered as an environmental issue and a health threat. These are the environmental issues factors that focus in the environmental health, which people affects their health. The physical factor, the chemical, biological, social, and psychosocial factors. Let's read the example. In physical factors, we have unsanitary surroundings, environmental disruptions, earthquakes, fires, floods, etc. For chemical, we have toxic and chemical waste. For biological factor, we have presence and emergence of diseases caused by pathogens, virus, bacteria, fungi, etc. For social factors, no space for physical activities and other recreation. And for psychosocial factors, we have unhealthy family relationships, violence, and war. People have been continuously working to address these issues, and you too could give a significant contribution to this effort. But before we take action, it is important to know first what these environmental issues are. Let us look at the table above that we have read. We can observe that the environmental issues are categorized into environmental factors, such as physical, chemical, biological, social, and psychosocial. These issues are equally important to be assessed and controlled because all of them adversely affect the health of the people and the future members of the community. Do you observe other environmental issues in the community other than the ones mentioned above? Alright. Let us answer this activity. What's more? Can you get your notebook and number your paper from 1 to 10? Listen to the instruction. Study the given environmental issues below. Identify each of them if it is physical, chemical, biological, social, or psychosocial factors. Write your answers on your notebook. Number one, contaminated water with toxins. Ten seconds. If your answer is chemical, you're correct. 
Next, number two, storms. Ten seconds. If your answer is physical, you're correct again. Let's keep going. Number three, terrorism. If your answer is psychosocial, you're correct. Very good. Number four, COVID-19. If your answer is biological, that's correct. Give it up. Number five, no parks and playground. If your answer is social, that is correct. Keep going. Number six, noxious level of mercury. If your answer is chemical, that is correct. Nice one. Number seven, gun war. If your answer is psychosocial, very good. You got it again. Number eight, volcanic eruption. If your answer is physical, You're correct. Almost perfect. Number nine. Improper residential waste disposal. If your answer is physical, you're correct again. And last but not the least, cholera. If your answer is biological, you got it right. Perfect score is 10. So now, you know the examples of the different environmental health factors, which is physical, chemical, biological, social, and psychosocial factors. Let's proceed to our another activity. What I have learned. This is the Madi moments. Write your answer on your notebook. What are some confusing concepts you encountered in the lesson? Feel free to write to them. So a supplementary lesson can be provided to help you understand the lesson better. If the topic is clear to you, write a short paragraph about what you have learned from the lesson. Don't be shy. Dear students, some of the topic is not clear. Just feel free to write your questions so that I can give you supplementary lesson or enrichment activities. Now let's proceed to what I can do. What environmental issues do you notice in your community at present? 
think of it. And now, in what ways can you and your family members help in addressing these issues? Think of that. Write a short paragraph about how you and your family members can help address these problems. I know you can do it. Good luck. Let's proceed to assessment. Study the given environmental issues inside the box. Identify to what particular environmental factor each of them belongs to. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number one. Tuberculosis. Number two, plague drainages. Number three, missiles. Number four, hazing. Number five, oil spills. Number six, absence of covered court. Number seven, tsunami. Number eight, child neglect. Number nine, release of methane. And number ten, earthquakes. I give you 30 seconds to finalize your answer. And we will check it. That's 10 seconds. Ready? Number one, if your answer is biological, your answer is correct. Number two, plug drainages. That is physical. Number three, missiles. That is biological factor. Number four, pacing. That is psycho social factor. Five, all spills. It is chemical factor. Number six. Absence of covered court, social factor. Seven, tsunami is physical. Correct. Number eight, child neglect. That is psycho social. Very good. Second to the last. Release of methane. It is very good. Chemical. And last, earthquake to complete our assessment. That is physical factor. Very good. Who got nine? Almost perfect. And ten. Perfect. Those eight and below, very good. You try your best.
Now, let's proceed to our additional activities. For your performance task, you will submit this on our Google Classroom. Listen very carefully to our instruction. I tell environmental poster. So we are going to have a poster making. Make a poster about one identified environmental issue in your community. The poster should include a visual representation and a short text description of the issue. Meaning to say, you are going to make a poster and then a short caption about your work. Think of it as a poster giving information and warning to the members of your community. You may draw it manually or digitally. So you can choose your material. Materials A, post to paper, pencil, marker, crayons, or oil pastel. If you want to draw it manually. Materials B, drawing or painting software application. If you want to draw digitally. Then submit your work in our Google Classroom. Wait for the classwork that I will make. Any question? Chat on our group chat. Thank you very much for your listening. God bless us all. To God be the glory.